What are you doing? Hey everybody, there's a bee over here. Thank you for joining me with Landscape Rescue. My name's Stuart Moore. I'm in the windiest, noisiest neighborhood in the Springfield metro area. Loud noises! And uh, I'm gonna try to shoot a video real quick about the crepe myrtle. So crepe myrtles typically all over the state of Missouri look like this. We had negative 15 degree winter days and uh, it was very hard on our crepe myrtles. Our crepe myrtles suffered severely. Um, they're not a zone five, they're a zone seven, so we were way below where they needed to be. But a lot of them came out of it pretty good. Like this one here, this branch, this whole guy right here did pretty stinking good. This one on the other hand, not so much. What I would like to do is I think a lot of people are kind of, especially in the Midwest, are kind of dealing with this situation here and without whacking it all the way back down to, down to the ground because that probably wouldn't look good in this in this space we are going to trim it up real quick for the nice old lady across the street from me um who has been nothing but nice we've never hung out and gone fishing or anything but we talk at the mailbox periodically very nice lady when i approached her and asked her if i could film in her front yard and trim up her crepe myrtle uh, she was very concerned that it was going to cost money for me to do this for her. And I kept telling her over and over again, I'm going to do this for free. I need an opportunity. I don't have any crepe myrtles in my house. I need an opportunity to show people what's going on with crepe myrtles right now. And uh, so she was obliged. Here's where we're at. We're going to trim this crepe myrtle up real quick. And I'm just kind of going to show you what I do when I do that. So just break out the trusty Coronas. And I'm going to go down to... There is no life in this stem. But if I just want to check, there's nothing. So just for speed's sake, I'm just gonna do this like I normally would. If, if I have doubts, then I'll start working my way down. But for the most part, when you see something like this and the, the new growth is this long, I mean, you've almost got about eight or nine inches of new growth. So, um, which is okay, because crepe myrtles bloom on new growth. I need to sharpen my pruners. I was separating hostas and, against my better judgment. All right, so this stem, you can see some new growth right here. That's about eight inches long, but this rest of the stem is nothing. So anyway, things like this, when you see them, there's a little bit of growth down here at the bottom. Yep, check this out. There's a little bit of green. This is kind of a way for you to tell how much of a mistake you made. So see where the green ends? So we only trimmed off about, see about right there, where that green cambium layer ends. It's about how much mistake, but we had all of this, this entire branch. So it was just pulling nutrients out of that. It, it wasn't gonna keep this branch. You know, it's funny, when I was talking to her about trimming this up and getting a permission to be in her yard and all that jazz, she, uh, once we finally, our communication like lined up and she understood what I was asking her, um, that I wasn't gonna charge her anything for it. Um, then she said, uh, so once around the time she figured that out, uh, then she showed me another crepe myrtle she wants me to trim. So uh, once she found out it was free, all of a sudden she had a lot of work that needed to be done. <laughs> So I'm gonna go do that one too.
here it is. It's very, very simple, guys. Just trim out the dead on your crepe myrtles and you're gonna be fine. The earlier you get in the year before you start seeing a whole lot of new growth, it gets a little trickier. Uh, but uh, right now in, you know, June, um, all the danger of frost is past and we don't gotta worry about much of anything. So, all right, thank you very much for joining us on Landscape Rescue. My name's Stuart Moore. Have a good day, guys.